probably click play for this video because you're wondering who on your team is going to work with Oracle Mobile Cloud Service, or MCS. Are you a mobile developer contracted to develop apps using MCS? Or are you a service developer wondering how you'll plug in your enterprise's existing services into the mobile cloud? I'm Lynn Munsinger from the Oracle Mobile Platform team, and in this episode, I'll explain who's responsible for what when it comes to developing mobile applications in the cloud. There are many chefs in the kitchen when it comes to building enterprise mobile solutions. It's important to know who the various cooks are so that, for example, you don't waste a lot of time coding a mock-up that somebody's already created an actual implementation for. Or, well, insert your own war story here about the time you had to rewrite your code, right? Oracle MCS has been specifically designed to support these logical divisions of labor, so these roles will surface when you first enter the MCS UI. Now, let's say you're a mobile developer. As a mobile developer, your job is to create applications for the latest mobile devices. Often these apps incorporate existing enterprise functionality, which need to be optimized and shaped for mobile devices so your apps can sizzle instead of flop. Now, first, you use the MCS UI to create a context for the mobile app in the form of a mobile backend or MBE. Then you gather the services that the app requires and bring them together so that they're exposed through the mobile backend. These service APIs are accessed via REST services, or more specifically, REST services wrapped around big, clunky enterprise resources to make them faster to work with and more mobile ready. However, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. So first, you look for existing APIs. One might already exist in the enterprise and be loaded into MCS as what's called a custom API. In that case, you can use the MCS UI to test the service endpoints to make sure the services do what the mobile app is going to require. When the API you need isn't available, you design a new custom REST API to be used by the mobile applications. You use the API designer to provide the specification for the service, including the methods that are accepted, get, post, put, etc. And you supply some mock data in the form of an example response body so that you can go back to work on your mobile app. Someone else, we call them the service developer, then implements the details of the service. Now you, the mobile developer, continue developing the mobile app and the service developer writes code to implement the custom API simultaneously. We don't want to stop progress. Keep in mind that MCS has built-in APIs for functions like storage, user management, database, notifications, and analytics. These APIs are called platform APIs, and you can access them directly via REST calls or the provided SDK for your mobile platform. And one last piece that mobile developers are typically responsible for, user management. Mobile developers define various groups of users who might use the application. This is called a user realm, and its purpose is to provide a context for the mobile app users who will be authorized to access the applications associated with a particular MBE. Another main player is the service developer that we've already mentioned. This person writes code to implement the custom APIs required by the mobile developers on your team. The APIs might draw on existing enterprise services in your organization or use the platform APIs provided by the Oracle Mobile Cloud Service, but regardless, you write this code in Node.js. Node.js is a platform agnostic language for server-side applications written in JavaScript. Amongst many advantages, Node.js excels at tasks around processing web requests. Now, don't worry if you haven't mastered Node.js yet. It's easy to pick up and we have several resources for you. As a service developer, you write Node.js modules. These are things that tell your app what to do with data. And within a module, you write routes or URLs for each endpoint. There's a library to help you do this called Express.js. There are hundreds of Node.js libraries available. Express is just one of them. So using Express within each route, you define what code to execute on each REST API endpoint, modeling off REST API naming conventions. Now, service developers, when you need your custom API to connect to a service existing somewhere in the enterprise, either on-premise or cloud, you use a connector API. To do this, you use the MCS UI to define that a particular implementation is connector friendly, and then that service can be accessed just like any other API. There are a few other roles involved in building enterprise mobile solutions in the cloud. There's the enterprise architect, determining the overall mobile architecture and keeping an eye on how apps are tested, deployed, and updated. 
Another important member of the team is the Mobile Cloud Administrator. In this role, you use the Administration tab of the MCS UI to ensure that other team members have the permissions they require to create and use mobile cloud services and features. You also set up mobile user roles, which have permissions and users for those roles. Those roles are then added to the Realm for a given MBE. Finally, when the apps are ready, you deploy the MBEs and the APIs and Realms associated with them into production. Last but not least, someone's got to steer the ship. The role of the Mobile Program Manager is typically played by a line of business CIO. As Mobile Program Manager, you're responsible for the overall mobile strategy. You want to know how popular and useful your mobile applications are but also you use the analytics capabilities of Oracle MCS to evaluate long-term usage and performance patterns. Obviously, multiple people may be performing multiple roles, but the purpose here is to differentiate the tasks performed in Oracle Mobile Cloud Service so you can get an idea about the division of labor. Now that you know who does what in mobile cloud development, it's time to gather your team and get started.